Hello folks, um, I'm uh, doing an experiment today with the Bebo uh, Touch X 3D printer. There's a function on it called the copy function which allows both extruders to use the same um, uh, same model and, and print uh, an identical copy of it. There are a couple of limitations on this is uh, the x-axis uh, width of the model should not exceed 30 millimeters because I believe that's the uh, distance between the two extruders or you know uh, nearabouts and um, the other one is that uh, while they don't say it I don't believe you should be using two different uh, materials uh, at two different temperatures because uh, you might get into adhesion issues on the bed. Um, so um, this model is just a simple 20 by 20 XYZ calibration cube and um, I'm uh, using ABS on both uh, extruders and uh, bed temperature is set to 103, uh, 105 uh, actually and uh, the extruder temperature is set to 235 degrees. So we are currently waiting for uh, the uh, extrusion to uh, rather the temperature to come up before the uh, the model starts printing I can already see uh, the little stream of uh, extrusion coming out of both the uh, the both the nozzles we should be uh, getting some action pretty quickly the uh, bed temperature is up for some reason um, I have not figured out yet how to make all the uh, elements heat up simultaneously and have the uh, machine wait for all of them it seems to be doing it sequentially but the extruders heat up pretty quickly so um, currently uh, the bed is looking good, extruder 1 is getting up there and extruder 2 will be next. So I think uh, all extruders are ready. Now uh, it's going through the motions of uh, all right I think we're printing. sound does not look good. It's not liking something. Yeah, I think I have some leveling issues with uh, one of the extruders. I had to uh, declog a nozzle yesterday. So uh, I think there's some, there's some adjustment that I need to do. But it looks like both of them are printing, um, which is cool.
I think uh, the second extruder is at least 0.6 mm off because uh, this is the third layer it's printing and this is the first uh, layer of print that I can see from the second extruder. So it's at least 0.4 mm off. Nice. So I can see some interesting action going on here. But I think it is uh, incorrectly doing the the brim, which is uh, weird. That might be my Cura setting. Yeah, I think my setting was um, incorrect. I had required the second extruder to be the one that provides the um, support so uh, I think it's faithfully following the instruction but uh, it's missing the boat So it's progressing, uh, I think it is uh, probably 10% done at this point, but it's uh, shaping up to be really nice. Um, as you can see, the uh, you can see three rectangles, I guess, or three cubes. Um, the yellow one is the one produced by the second extruder and then the middle one is actually a yellow brim that is being done by the second extruder on the extru uh, on the red one being produced by the first extruder and there is a red brim that's being produced on an empty spot I think this is a an error of the copy function because I had set Cura to use only one extruder for support. So I think the copy function got confused and it uh, is doing some unintended things here. So as you can see, it's coming along. Uh, rather well the um, cube is actually going to tell us how well it's calibrated we're about 50 percent at this point we had run 75 percent uh, about 65 percent actually here in the It's uh, progressing quite well. So it looks like it's uh, almost done. I think it's probably going to be printing the Z at this point. It's really crazy. It's uh, making this uh, wall around an empty space. going to be a sight to see. 
when, uh, when it's done. That's uh, incredible. That's it, folks. This is the uh, final output. And uh, as you can see, I should probably wait for the... Uh, I'll wait a little bit for the bed to cool down. All right, uh, let's take a look at this. So this is an empty spot. And this is an empty support. It's not really empty support, it's adhering to something else. So this guy, I believe, is attached to this. Maybe not. But this, ooh, that just came out. So this guy was attached to this. And that's how he looks. And this guy is again 
there. This is very interesting. Both of them have the same exact issues, but uh, it's a copy. Well, it's a tower that it produced. Interestingly, this is a tower that it's produced with two colors. Yeah, this guy is moving. Oh, let's come out. And that came out. So, uh, that's X. Yeah, so this one did not print a couple of layers, as it's very clear. This one printed all layers. So this should theoretically be shorter than this uh, on the x-axis. We can, we can measure that. We uh, we measure it on the Y. It says it's it says it's two zero point six six. Okay, and if we measure it on the X, it's two zero point five four. And on the Z, it's 19.16. So if we measure this guy on the Z axis, he's 19.4444. On the Y axis, 19.92 oh the x axis is 20.54 so it's a lot of variance here that's one zero so that's it folks uh, a copy print and uh, some interesting observations that came out of that. Good night.